Hello everyone, Sergeant274 back with episode 28 of the Dark Souls Beginner Series Guide Tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Since last time I did farm the Silver Knights and got my spiffy um, Silver Knight shield here. I also changed clothing just because I was getting sick of the gold hem stuff. And, <coughs> excuse me, I went back to Sense Fortress and took out those two other um, Titanite demons down there, and I actually got the Titanite catching pole from one of them. So that was kind of cool. So there you see, you can actually get that from the one down by uh, in the Undone Parish there. You can drop that early on in the game, so it's a pretty nice weapon. Anyways, plans for today are we are going to go get Quelag's Fury Sword, we're going to get go get Kirk's armor, or the Armor of Thorns, we're going to go get the Witch Set. Uh, we're going to go talk to Quelana, we're going to upgrade our Silver Knight Shield, and we're going to go head into the Kiln, and I'll show you how to farm for the Black Knight, um, what do you call it? Black Knight weapons, we'll get the Black Knight armor, etc, etc, so. That's what this episode will be, the next episode. The only thing left is either go after the boss of the game, or um, <coughs> the DLC area. Or uh, what else? And we still have Ash Lake and uh, the Painted World, so yeah, we still have quite a bit to do. All right, so if you kill Kirk, Kurt, Kirk, it's Kirk with a K. Um, both time or all three times in the depths, in Demon Runes, and then in Lost Isolith, his armor will be here on the corpse, and you can use that. It's actually pretty good armor. I actually like it quite a bit. But we do not have enough endurance now to use it. You can see it looks pretty cool. But we're mid-rolling, and I don't like to mid-roll. So, we are going to get rid of that. I wonder if we could fast roll with that. Nope. Still not able to. Alright, fine. Forget it. Alright. Now, we are going to head over and talk to Ke Quelana. Who is... Um, the chick that can upgrade our pyromancy flame. And I'm only doing this so I can get, um, what do you call it? Um, she gives us um, a, a nice pyromancy here. It's kind of like Chaos Firestorm, but it doesn't take up two slots like Chaos Firestorm does. So we have to run back to her. And we are not going to upgrade our pyromancy flame actually right now. Um, because we want to save our souls for upgrading the Silver Knight Shield, and like I said, we're going to make Quelag's Fury Sword, which is a very good weapon. Um, it's good for a low-level build, because it's it basically scales with dex, and then also, because it's a chaos weapon, scales with humanity. So if you, can, uh, if you have 10 humanity in the upper left there, that will max out its... Uh, humanity scaling. <laughs> Did I put the iron ring on? No. Of course I didn't. Alright, so let's go talk to her. We're going to get poisoned here, but that's not a huge deal. Whoa, excuse me, buddy. I have to go talk to this girl. Outstanding. Outstanding, yes. And there you go, fire tempest. And you can modify your equipment, etc, etc. No, no. We're not going to... Alright, and you can see over there, there's Laurentius, but we are not going to bother with old Laurentius now. Um, you know, we could almost do Ash Lake right here, since I'm down here. But I said I was not going to do that now, so we will do it later. Alright. So, let's see, what did we do so far? We got the Thorn Armor set check. We talked to Quelana and got Fire Tempest, check. Now we are going to go get the Witch Set. Um, the Witch Set becomes available once you beat the Four Kings. You don't have to summon Beatrice, obviously, to get the Witch Set. But in order to pick it up, you do have to come down <coughs> basically to the entrance uh, the back entrance to Blight Town. it's right in that area so 
We'll just sit here and wait. All right. I'm not certain, honestly, if you have to summon Beatrice um, for the Moonlight Butterfly fight in order to get um, her armor, or if you can get it without summoning her at any time. But just come out here to the Valley of the Drakes, and her junk will be over here on the corpse. There you go. There's the witch stuff along with her catalyst. And the witch stuff, I think, is probably going to be better than what we have now. It's also, yeah, it's a little better. Flame defense, not so good, but. There you go. There's the witch stuff. With the hat. Are we still light enough to. No, we can't. We can't quick roll. That will change, though, as soon as we get um, her fury sword. Our fury sword. There we go. Let's take the gloves off. Take off the gloves. Okay. Now, what are we going to go get? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for coughing. We are going to head back and go to... Uh, did I ever get that soul I did? Uh, we have to get Quelag's Fury Sword. So, in order to get Quelag's Fury Sword... You need a plus 10 um, curve sword or katana, I think. No, curve sword. Because if you do, if you have a katana, you get the chaos blade. Pretty sure it's a curve sword. I don't know if something else works. Probably, I think maybe a whip, curve sword or whip. Maybe. Anyways, let's see. Hold on, this. I just want to see something really quickly here. Ah, uh, that's not better. That's better, but it costs or weighs too much. Oh, we can still use it, so that's good. All right, we'll we'll stick with that. All right, so we're gonna warp over to. We just need to get to a. a um, what do you call it? A blacksmith here. <coughs> now you can get the obviously. The Fury Sword a lot earlier in the game after you defeat Quelag. If you upgrade a sword, uh, Curse Sword to plus 10. However, back at the Duke's Archives, we got the Enchanted Falchion. So basically what we're going to do is talk to him here. We are going to take our Enchanted Falchion and make that into a Magic Falchion. Then we're going to make that into a Falchion plus 5. And then we are going to make the Falchion plus 5 into a well, large, whatever you want to call it, there. So now we need some Titanite Shards to make that into plus 10. So you can either farm for Light Knight Shards, Light Knight? <laughs> farm for large Titanite Shards, or you can simply warp over here and buy them off of... Um, what's his face? The giant blacksmith. Which is what we're going to do. We're going to rest here. <coughs> real quick. And we're just going to come down here. You will not fall. Die. You will not fall. <laughs> you will not die from that. You will take fall damage, but not a big deal. Alright. Yeah, you know, I'll take these guys out with the, uh, um, what do you call it? Show you guys how to do this with uh, the uh, washing pole here. You can see there the. Oh, seriously? Wow. How'd that hit me? He was looking the complete opposite direction. Jerk. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully, it would be nice if he were to drop. Uh, tight night chunk, but we're actually going to go with that now. I should have done that a second ago because we want some more souls because we're going to need money because upgrading a chaos weapon or with demon tight night costs a little bit of money. Really? Wow. And you can see we get a little bit more with that. Come on, buddy. Sir, I would like to kill you. 
can you? I don't know where the heck I am. Where am I? Lock on him. <laughs> what he was doing there. He's going to heal up, actually. Um, Alright, 600 more souls. Whatever. We'll take it. And then we can also come down here and open up the main door. If he so chooses. And that just creates a shortcut. All the way down um, to where the elevator is and whatnot. Um, we are actually going to head to the blacksmith. We'll go this way. Get, get a few more souls out here. These these uh, temple people giants are nowhere near as tough as the uh, other giants inside there. Whoa. Really? That didn't hit him? What's he doing? Oh my gosh. Thank you. I don't think they... They might drop like their weapon or shield, but that's about it. Remember when you come in here, if you open up this shortcut, these guys are... Holy crap! Where the heck did that guy come from? Holy smokes, dude! Really, buddy? Stupid... Demon spear? By the way, they do drop the demon spear. That's in our way to get it. If you don't want to buy it from Shiva. And it's lightning elemental, as you can see. I'm blocking it, but it still hurts me because it does lightning damage. Alright, I did not get it. <coughs> Picked up a few more souls. Also, before I forget, Hawk Ring is right over here. I didn't get this the last time. There we go. That increases your bow range. Alright, shiny, shiny. He wants the crystal ember. Now you can make crystal weapons with him. But what we need to do is buy a few of these. I don't know exactly how many more we need. Two, three. I think we might need a few more. Whoops, sorry. Excuse me, sir. Sir. I was wrong. Alright, upgrade this. We need two more. Two, thank you. Reinforced weapon. Make that a plus ten falchion. And we are going to modify that into Quelag Fury Sword right there. Alright, so that's how you get Quelag's Fury Sword, and we're going to reinforce that with our wonderful Demon Titanite. All the way up to. Oh, we need one more to make it plus five. Alright, oh, I'll show you how to get one more. Actually, we get two more by doing this, but, um. Alright. We need a couple more. One more, actually. Alright, so this is how we'll do it. Speaking of doing things, last time I tried this, um, I failed. So this time, I don't guarantee different results, although I hope they'll be different. We'll just pick up everything over here. Alright, that there. I thank goodness. There we go. Got the Dragon Slayer bow. Now we're just going to drop down here. And we can walk in the front door this time because they're all dead, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright, we have to go get one more Demon Titanite to bump up our or to bump up our Fury Sword to max scaling. So luckily for us there is a Titanite Demon right in this area. He's one of the more difficult ones again though. But if you follow the procedure for Titanite Demons, regardless of how much HP they have, you'll be fine. Block. And whack him. Roll. Get in his little sweet spot over here. He gets stunned. Alright, now you're going to have to wait for your stamina to go back. There you go. Roll. He just needs one more shot. There he is to the face. And he's dead. <coughs> and you get two Demon Titanite for that. Alright, so we're going to head to the bonfire and upgrade that. And then we'll go to the kiln. Um, and we'll farm a little bit in the kiln. You can drop. Oops, what are we doing? What are we doing? Silver ring. We need we need souls. Oh gosh. I hate that long delayed one. And 
drop anything for me? Nope. Alright. Ouch. Let's, let's try a two-handed parry repast. There you go. 763. Should make a weapons video about the washing pole. I don't think I've done that yet. Problem is, I don't think I have the washing pole in the character that I use for those videos. So, probably have to use this character. Alright. <coughs> Reinforce this up to there. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Now we have a maxed out Quailag's Fury Sword. Which still does more damage than the washing pole and is a lot lighter. Which means we can throw on... Um, throw on the Gauntlet of Thorns. It's still, uh, still too heavy. Fine, whatever, dude. Uh, which is better? Which? Which is better? All right, there we go. And this is Quaylake's Fury Sword. It's the sword that you know lights up and looks cool. And when you, the kick animation is actually a back slash with a back handspring. So, all right. So now what we have to do is reinforce our armor real quick. No, not our armor. Shields are weapons. We're going to reinforce um, our Silver Knight shield to get that up to max stability. Which will be 76. So there we go. Alright, now we're going to head to the kiln. In order to get to the kiln, you have to... Um, where in the world the abyss? That's what I'm looking for. In order to get to the kiln, or access it, you have to have defeated the four Lord Souls, or got acquired the four Lord Souls. Um, Lord Souls being the four kings, Nido, um, Seath, and um, <coughs> Bed of Chaos. We're actually going to join the Dark Race here, by the way. Not that it really matters, but we get the Dark Hand. There you go. And you can get the dark sword and everything and armor by going to plus 10 or 30. I forget, honestly. But All right, we're going to warp. And Kath here is going to take us to the sh altar here. We're going to rest and offer the Lord Souls. And for offering the Lord Souls, it will open up the door in front of us. Alright, enough. It, op it opens up the door in front of us to the kiln. Alright. So, here in the kiln, we are actually going to go with the gold Covetia Serpent Ring because we want um, to get some of these Black Knight weapons. So the weapons that we could not get before. All the Black Knights down here drop chunks. And they all have the chance to drop their weapons. So, if you did not get one of the Black Knight weapons earlier, you can keep farming these guys over and over again. This is also the end area of the game. The boss of the game is in this area, but we are not going to fight him now. So, here we go. Quaylike's Fury Sword does not do a ton of damage to these guys. That's because the Black Knight armor actually is very resistant to uh, uh, fire magic or flame or whatever. We're just going to do this. Seriously. All right. <coughs> Did he die from that, hopefully? Alright, he did. Guaranteed to drop, and we got the Black Knight Shield. That's also a very good shield, by the way. It's a little heavier than the Silver Knight Shield, but it has exceptionally good flame-resistant damage, or fire resistance. And, <laughs> but it doesn't have as good of, um, what do you call it? As good uh, stability. It's like two points less, so it's not that much. Alright, we are not going to play games with that. I put the Black Knight Sword on just because. Uh, it probably does the most damage. Fortunately, we are not fast rolling now, though, so... He drops the Red Titanite Chunk. Okay, I can't do this without fast rolling. There we go. Actually, you know what, if you, I don't really care about this guy up here because he has the Black Knight Sword. It's the last two ones that I care about because I have the Helpbird and then the uh, Great Axe, which are the two I don't have and the two I really want. 
So come over here. This guy's gonna do that. Parry him. Might have to parry him twice here, obviously, since we don't have a weapon that's capable of killing him in one shot. If we had the Hornet Ring on, we may be able to, but... I don't know. Tight Knight Chunk, alright. And really quickly, if you want the Black Knight armor, it is straight over here on this corpse. There you go. Alright, now we really want the weapons of these two guys coming up. Great Axe is first, Halberd second. I really want that Great Axe. Cause it's probably my favorite Black Knight weapon. It's the weapon I beat the game with for the first time. Oh gosh, are we going to push him off? No, don't push him off. Don't push him off. Don't push him off. It is extremely easy to parry that weapon. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Oh, son of a pumpkin. He did not. So I'm going to farm that because I want all the Black Knight weapons. I want the helper too because we'll probably use that in the uh, DLC area. Oh, man. I was trying to parry that, but I, I didn't get the chance. Whatever. He's dead. Did we get the helper? We didn't get the helper. Oh, that sucks. Do I even have the right ring on? Well, if you put the right ring on, that might have helped. Alright, there's a boss of the game. He's right in here. That's Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. We are not going to take him on now. Do I have a homeward bone? I have one homeward bone. Alright. Um, is there anything else I want to do? There really isn't. That's it for this episode. What I'm going to do is actually... I am going to... Suicide here. Whee! Because, like I said, I want to farm those last two uh, Black Knights for their weapons. So, it's not a big deal because you end up right back here. So as long as you don't die, once you get to the end there, you'll recover your souls. Um, if you have the spell Homeward, that works really well here. Or if you have a plethora, or a large amount, I should say, of... Homeward Bones, that also works for farming this. So I'm just going to do this until I get the Black Knight weapons. Next time we'll come back and we'll go after the Painted World um, with Quaylag's Fury Sword. So, Alright, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.